How's it going everyone? It's me, Whiplash Snake here, bringing you a brand new life story, and well, today we have a pretty funny one, you know, it, it, it kind of relates to another story that I've done on this channel before, and it was uh, the one where I got in a car crash on the day that I got fired from my job. And that is because, well, this is the story of how I got hired for that job in the first place, which, it, it was a very random thing. I, I don't even know how it kind of happened, but it did, so we're gonna talk about it. Now, this story takes place back in 2014, just two years ago, you know. I believe it was in February. It, it wasn't that long ago at all. And, you know, just two weeks prior to this occurrence, I had gotten my job at the pizza place, which I still work at to this day. And, you know, I had been having happy about that. I was really excited, you know, had a brand new job. It was my first job. I didn't want to mess it up, you know. I was just answering phones there at the time, so it was a pretty easy job. But working at minimum wage, I still kind of wanted a little bit of extra cash, and I was only getting about, at this time, since I was just starting out, I was only getting about three days a week, so it, it wasn't that much of a cash flow. But, you know, just being out of high school and just like, I was pumped, I was ready to go, I had money, now I had a job, and I felt like a full blown own fucking adult and, and trust me that that's not a good thing it, it it fucking sucks on this particular day i was waking up early you know i'm normally a very late sleeper go, you know i don't wake up until it's the double digits or past those and yes i, I still do that to this day it, it's probably very bad, but whatever. But on this particular day, I decided that I was going to go to a community garage sale, which was in a community that was, like, really close to the community that I live in. And I was going to just go there, have a bit of fun, you know, look around, see if there's anything that I wanted to buy, you know. I had cash now because I was working. And what good is having that cash if you're not going to spend it on anything? I mean, might as well buy some people's crap. And well, I decided that I was going to go there, it was about 9 in the morning at this point, and you know, I was just going to go to a fucking community garage sale. So I wasn't dressed up at all, okay? I threw on some basketball shorts, and I threw on a literal Minecraft t-shirt that was probably two sizes too small for me. And that, and that was my shopping outfit, okay? I, I was like a Walmart shopper, just immediately it, it was great you know so i was just driving around this neighborhood you know stopping at a bunch of different garage sales seeing if they had anything that you know i would be interested to buy and well i ended up actually not getting really anything at this garage sale because it was an old person community and all they were selling was like records and their old rags and probably a vase or two possibly a wheelchair but you get the idea it wasn't really anything that i was interested in really the only thing that i came upon that i was interested in was a little thing of a breaking bad series all of them just like a box set and the guy won like 40 bucks, so I'm just like, yeah, you can fuck off, mate. No, I got that shit on Netflix, I can just watch it, I don't need the physical copies of it. But as I was driving around, you know, I get a call on my cell phone, and, you know, I look at it, and it was a number that I didn't recognize, so... I answer, I'm just thinking that's probably a solicitor, and the person answers with my name, and that made me stop, like, uh, okay, who, who is this? And they're like... It was in a very heavy accent that I really couldn't understand too much, so they said, Oh, you had applied for a job about six months ago, and we are calling you back now to see if you are still wanting it. I'm, I'm sorry, that fucking accent was really racist. I'm, I won't do that anymore. So I was really confused. Like, at this point, I now had a job, and, well, I had been going around to a bunch of stores when I was looking for a job, leading up to the moments that, well, I actually got my job, and... I just was going through store after store, as you do for your first job, just filling out any application you can get, and well, seeing if anything comes out of it. And lo and behold, this one did, and it was for a cook position at a Hawaiian barbecue restaurant. And she said that they were doing interviews, and that I should come down as soon as possible to interview with her. And so I said, alright, you know, I, I was just like, okay, I just got offered a job, even though I just got a job, but... 
All right, let, let's do this. So I found out where the place was located because I had absolutely no idea what kind of store I was going to because, well, I filled out so many applications that I, I didn't remember what stores I had even applied to. And so she actually had to give me directions of how to get to the store. But so I drive there. I didn't change at all. I was still in my Minecraft t-shirt with, I think, probably even a rip in it. I don't even remember. And, like, little basketball shorts. It, it was not the outfit that you you would want to go into an interview with. This was possibly the worst outfit that you could ever go into any interview with, and I don't think I was even wearing socks in my seat. I, it was the worst, okay? Like, it was the outfit that if you were to go into any kind of job interview, they would have thrown you out immediately, like, yeah, go home. But, you know, I guess they were really fucking desperate because she actually sat down and interviewed with me for a good 30 minutes and, you know, went through all the questions that you were supposed to go through, went through all the stuff, and, well, she actually surprised me a little bit with this interview and actually had me do a pop quiz on the restaurant. And this really caught me off guard because, well, I had never eaten in this restaurant prior to this moment, you know. I had just gone in because it said they were hiring and I filled out an application hoping to get a job there. Not necessarily because I wanted the job there and I liked their brand and I liked what they were all about, but because I wanted some fucking money and they could provide that for me. But, so, I, I was looking at, like, uh, what what kind of pop quiz and she's like oh it's gonna be about like 10 questions and it's gonna be on our mem menu you gotta tell me what we have on these different platters we have to know what you is our biggest seller you have to know all this stuff it, it was so I literally had to sit there and study the menu she gave me a little paper menu and I had to literally sit there for about 20 minutes and well I had to read this menu and memorize it. And so if you uh, watched my last episode, you know my glorious cheating skills with my iPod. So, well, I she went back into the back of the restaurant and, well, was doing whatever, probably serving customers. And I was sitting there going over this menu trying to remember it. But I was like, all right, well, she's actually offering $9 an hour, which is above minimum wage in the state. And, well, I... I, I, I want this job. It, it seems pretty cool. I, I want to do this. And so I take out my iPod and I take pictures of the menu. And she comes back and asks me if I had actually finished in everything and that I was ready for the quiz. And I said yes. And she gives me a little piece of paper with like 10 questions on it. And it was like, what's our most popular dish? What kind of items are on this meat platter? What kind of items come with this? What was this cost? It was just a lot of stuff and like how it even had a question of how many restaurants are in Arizona. And that was just like, why would you even count that? Like, why is this important for the job that I'm going to do to know how many of this restaurant is in our state? But she gave me 10 minutes and you know, I went back and went through the iPod and actually answered all the questions because I took pictures of that menu front and back and got everything down. And eventually she came back and took the paper and said like, you're done, right? And I'm like, yeah. And so she looked it over. I have to wait for about another five minutes. And she eventually comes back and says, all right, you got 100% on the test. You basically have the job. So uh, I just need this personal information from you and you can start working tomorrow, basically. And so, you know, I get all the stuff for her, get it all settled out, fill out the tax forms and everything. And she gives me my uniform and I'm just like sitting there shocked like wow I was going for about six months to a year at this point looking for a job and I just got two of them back to back within two weeks of each other this is insane and so you know I had to work out availability with them because I was still in school at this time and I needed to work that out and everything and Eventually, problems came up with that, and I had to schedule between that job and my other job at the pizza place, and well, it, it just got to a point where it, it, it didn't work out anymore, like you found out in the other episode that I told you about this, and don't worry, I have more stories about this restaurant of the time in between me getting hired here and me getting fired. But yeah, guys, just keep that in mind whenever you go in for your interview. You don't need to uh, get into a fancy suit. You don't need to do your hair, you
you don't need to go all out and try and impress your new potential boss. You, you can just go in with a Minecraft shirt and some freaking basketball shorts and still get the job. It, it worked for me. That being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. I would love a new addition to the Snake Army. If you missed it, I have yesterday's video playing on screen right now. So be sure to check that out. So be sure to check that out. That one was a good one right there. And if you, for some reason, don't like my content and absolutely think that I suck and should probably go drink a gallon of bleach at this very moment, I have three other options down here below, and you can check out any of them. We have Chubb, Sore, and Supos. All of them are really great channels. They do much better content than me, and you should probably go check them out. They, they do really good stuff. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter for a bunch of random stuff that I post every day. And also, keep in mind, we still have the competition going for the new intro because my current one is fucking cancer. So be sure to get those submissions in because we only have three days left before it that actually being said, closes. guys, I hope you did enjoy this episode once again. I will see you on the next one. Whiplash, signing out. Whiplash, signing out.